Now, once you're in the platform, all you have to do is to search for a business. This can be a competitor, this can be your client, this can be a prospect, whichever you want, you wanna start with that search. Maybe it's your business. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to the search bar here and I'm gonna search for a business. This will show me my recent searches, but let's say I wanna look for um, clockwork pizza. So I can just start, oops, this is in Hebrew. So I can just, this by the way, does work in every language. So you can use in Hebrew, you can use Italian, you can use German. We have lots of clients all over the world. So you can use it for any language, by the way. So let's say I'm going for clockwork pizza. And if it's not gonna showing the drop down, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the search. So let's say clock, um, you know, work pizza. And these guys are in Tempe. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the one I'm looking for. If it's not showing, just click search and it will show you. Usually, if it's a service area business, it might not show in the drop down, so you might uh, just need to click search. Once you find that business, this will show you where this business is, and it's also going to show you high intent keywords. So this will save you a lot of time about going about your keyword research because it's already going to suggest up to 30 high intent keyword. And you can just add those keywords just like that. You can come in here, you can add as many keywords as you would like, you know, pizza, um, I don't know, with uh, olives or whatever it is you want. And you can paste, you can take uh, 10 keywords with comma in between, paste it directly into this little box, just hit enter and it will add all of your keywords in bulk. Uh, from here, you can see the amount of reviews, you can move the grid, you can turn off dots on the grid if you don't want to scan those. So let's say it's over water and you don't want to save, you know, you want to save credits or you want to scan on water because nobody's really searching for whatever pizza is on a boat, right? So you can just remove all of those. And of course, you can enable everything just from here. Uh, if you move your grid, which you, you can just drag it just like that, you can also center the grid right back to where it's at. Uh, this will also show you what is the available, um, you know, open time of that business if you just hover just like so. Because as you know, you wanna scan while the business is open to make sure you're getting relevant information. Because if not, if the business is closed, then Google will show different results. You wanna scan while the business is open and this will help you to do so. You'll have an indication here that it says open. All right, once you added all the keywords, now you can choose between a circle, you know, or a square, whichever you like. You can change the amount of dots, the amount of pins that you have on the map. Uh, 13 by 13 is the most common one. And this is the one that most uh, people are using. And this will be the distance between the dots. So the distance between this and this is one mile. Okay, so this, um, so if I have it for one, it go from here to here. And as you can see, this is a one, um, you know, call a township uh, in the States where they kind of make everything into square townships, right? So this would be just one mile. Uh, if you do two, then this will do two miles between this dot and this dot and all the way, just like so. For here, let's say I'm happy with that and I can just, you know, everything is done. I can run scan or I can add a label. A label will allow me to later on filter things between the platform or group things together. So for example, Let's say this is a prospect. I can go in here and I can say prospect, uh, prospect, just like that. And I can save this uh, or I can remove the labels, whatever I would like to do. From here, I'm going to run a scan and then I can start a new scan or go back to the history.